أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم You who believe, take not my enemies and yours as friends or protectors, offering them your love, even though they have rejected the truth that has come to you, and have on the contrary driven out the messenger and yourselves from your homes, simply because you believe in Allah your Lord. If you have come out to strive in my way, and to seek my good pleasure, take them not as friends, holding secret converse of love and friendship with them, for I know full well all that you conceal and all that you reveal, and any of you that does this has strayed from the straight path. If they were to get the better of you, they would behave to you as enemies, and stretch forth their hands and their tongues against you for evil, and they desire that you should reject the truth. Of no profit to you will be your relatives and your children on the day of judgment. He will judge between you, for Allah sees well all that you do. There is for you an excellent example to follow in Abram and those with him, when they said to their people, We are clear of you and of whatever you worship besides Allah. We have rejected you, and there has arisen between us and you enmity and hatred forever unless you believe in Allah and Him alone. But not when Abraham said to his father, I will pray for forgiveness for you, though I have no power to get aught on your behalf from Allah. They prayed, Our Lord, in you do we trust, and to you do we turn in repentance. To you is our final goal. Our Lord, make us not a test and trial for the unbelievers, but forgive us, our Lord, for you are the exalted in might the wise, was indeed in them an excellent example for you to follow, for those whose hope is in Allah and in the last day. But if any turn away, truly Allah is free of all wants, worthy of all praise. It may be that Allah will grant love and friendship between you and those whom you now hold as enemies, for Allah is power over all things, and Allah is oft forgiving most merciful. Allah forbids you not, with regard to those who fight you not for your faith, nor drive you out of your homes from dealing kindly and justly with them. For Allah loves those who are just. Allah only forbids you, with regard to those who fight you for your faith, and drive you out of your homes, and support others in driving you out from turning to them for friendship and protection. It is such as turn to them in these circumstances that do wrong. O you who believe, when there come to you believing women refugees, examine and test them. Allah knows best as to their faith. If you ascertain that they are believers, then send them not back to the unbelievers. They are not lawful wives for the unbelievers, nor are the unbelievers lawful husbands for them. But pay the unbelievers what they have spent on their dower, and there will be no blame on you if you marry them on payment of their dower to them. But hold not to the guardianship of unbelieving women. Ask for what you have spent on their dowers, and let the unbelievers ask for what they have spent on the dowers of women who come over to you. Such is the command of Allah. He judges with justice between you, and Allah is full of knowledge and wisdom. And, if any of your wives deserts you to the unbelievers, and you have an accession by the coming over of a woman from the other side, then pay to those whose wives have deserted the equivalent of what they had spent on their dower, and fear Allah in whom you believe. O Prophet, when believing women come to you to take the oath of fealty to you, that they will not associate in worship any other thing whatever with Allah, that they will not steal, that they will not commit adultery or fornication, that they will not kill their children, that they will not utter slander, intentionally forging falsehood, and that they will not disobey you in any just matter, then do you receive their fealty and pray to Allah for the forgiveness of their sins. For Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. O you who believe, turn not for friendship to people on whom is the wrath of Allah. Of the hereafter, they are already in despair, just as the unbelievers are in despair 
about those buried in graves.